Hi there and welcome to episode 24 of our Timber and Stone Let's Play series. This is our beautiful castle in all of its glory so far. There is our little blacksmith's house and over here is our stones mason's house. Doesn't look like they're actually doing anything at the moment. Looks like they're just sitting around doing very little in fact. Have they got nothing to build? No, nothing in the crafting. So let's just go ahead and start crafting some... Hmm, what should we craft? Bricks and sto... Bricks, bricks too. Brick twos. Bricks. <laughs> bricks and brick twos. Let's get a 50 of those and 100 of those and then 100 of those and then 50 of those. Why not? Let's, you know, spread the love a little bit. We also need a load of wooden planks as well, so let's get uh, 100 of those. I mean, how many? Oh, we've got 600 wood logs, so let's get even more. Let's get 300 of those. Why not? Um, because we will need them eventually. We don't need them quite yet, but uh, yeah. Let's get another few. F oh, we've got 120 fences. So we don't really need any more of those. Um, some shingles would be good as well, maybe. Let's go and get uh, another 100 of those. Um, scaffolding, mine tracks, we don't really need any of that stuff. And let's have a quick look at our tools as well. Stone hammer, we've got 50 odd. Uh, 36 stone axes, 34 stone pickaxes and a load of stone hoes as well so we're doing pretty well for all of those. Let's add a couple of iron shears to the queue just so that we've actually got something because uh, we've got zero at the moment. There you can see the blacksmith there going straight to work um, and I think we'll leave it at that. So today, oh I've not got any sand, hmm, what's sand used for? I wonder, I wonder what sand is used for. I don't know if it's used for anything actually. Um, I can't think of anything it would be used for. Uh, anyway, today we're going to keep on building our castle and it's looking pretty cool at the moment. Look at that. It's looking beautiful. Our miners aren't doing a lot at the moment, but we'll give them something to do soon. Um, this episode, I think we're going to be concentrating on this area and getting these, getting some use out of these three buildings here because they're currently unused and then maybe also building some sort of housing over here because uh, we built in the last episode we also built this storeroom towards the end as well so that's got a load of stuff in it and people can't actually get to that food chest food barrel over there in the corner uh, so we might just deconstruct that uh, tool chest let people get to that food barrel we don't need another tool chest in there really do we uh, tool chests are everywhere we got a tool chest there, one's over there, so yeah, we can do without another tool chest, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be cracking on with this and seeing how we get on. Food, we're still struggling with a bit, but we could do with some more farmland, so we might actually move the farmland over to here as well uh, in this episode, so we'll have to see how we get on. Okay, our castle entrance is completely empty now, we've moved all of the farmland, so that's looking pretty barren. And I think it's having a positive impact because we've gone from around zero food to nearly 200 now. This guy here, Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson does not like to move. Oh! Oh! He's finally moved! I can't find storage. What the hell storage are you looking for? Now if I remember correctly, you were level zero of everything. So yes, you're level zero of everything and you have nothing in your inventory. Um. So why you're wanting to find storage, I honestly have no idea. Oh, you've now you've got yourself a torch. Okay, well done. Let's uh, send you across to here and see if I put you in. If we can put you close to the actual work, then you might do something. I don't even know where you've gone now. He seems to have disappeared off the face of the planet. Okay, interesting. And lots of lag at the moment, so. He's obviously can't find something. But this is our beautiful new area of farmland here. Nice rows. We've got uh, we've got it in order as well. So it goes potato, carrot, pumpkin, turnip. Potato, carrot, pumpkin, turnip. Now there's something in the middle as well, which is corn farm. But we don't have any corn seeds. And we've never been able to get corn seeds. So hopefully a merchant will turn up at some point with some corn seeds for us. That would be quite cool. And then we're going to have more variety of food for everyone. And the farmers actually seem to be doing lots more now. And we are, well, we're 166 food. We were at 200 before. Uh, but they seem to be, yeah, they're, they're waiting around. And then as soon as something happens, they're all on it. Uh, whereas previously, they, they'd just be walking a lot more and, and not really doing a lot. So this seems to be a lot more efficient. Anyway, the new merchant uh, wants to give us five coal in exchange for seven leather. Now I'm going to decline that because I don't have a lot of leather and I've got plenty of coal. 
There's a sheep on the wall. I think that's a sheep at least. Yes, there's a sheep. It's a wild sheep. And he's decided to walk around the walls. But fair enough. No one else is really walking around the walls, so who can blame him? Okay, so this is what the castle looks like at night. All these lampposts are seriously doing their jobs. <laughs> Everything is so bright here, you can barely see anything. I mean, we once struggled with having absolutely no vision because the night times are so dark. Now it's the other way around. The night times are so bright. It's like the surface of the sun in this area. Too many people with torches, I think. We need to get rid of those torches. Um, but yeah, the farmland's coming along really nicely, and a lot of our farmers stand around with not a lot to do. Uh, we may actually... We're getting 300 food now, so we're slowly increasing the food. I may increase these so that we have even more farmland now. So let's just go over to design and farm. And I believe we go potato, carrot, pumpkin, turnip, corn. So let's do the same thing again as we lag a little bit. So there's potato. And then some carrot. Like so. And then we'll have to get rid of this. And then some pumpkin like so some turnip like so and finally some corn even though we don't actually have any corn seeds at the moment like so so we've got that all beautifully positioned now and you see all the farmers are now because they don't have enough farmland they're all flocking to these new patches to um, to cultivate it very very quickly uh, so that's really cool. That's just that's the proof in the pudding really there They don't they never had enough before they never had enough farmland in this small area here this, God this looks so dead now Once this was a thriving community now. It's just a ghost town. Look at that even the stone benches are just empty and no one's there anymore That's kind of freaky actually um, But yeah, I mean the it's 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 obvious that they didn't have enough farmland before because they just flocked there. Uh, now with regards to the buildings, uh, this building's coming along nicely. We have, if I go down a little bit, we have a new um, carpenter's, carpenter's house here. Uh, so there's a couple of carpenters there. Oh no, the tailors. What are the tailors doing in there? Well, either way. And there's a builder in there. Okay, so this room here is the tailor's room. It's got two looms in there, a couple of beds, table and chairs. This is going to be carpenters, two beds, table and chairs, a little wood pile as well uh, for them to use. And then I've got this little room here. Didn't know what to do with it because we've used, we've done all of our workshops now. Because we've got the stones masons, the blacksmiths, and then we've got the uh, carpenters and the um, tailors there. So we've got all of our um, actual workshops done. There's no other workshops that we need to place at all. Uh, so this room here, we just put a huge table and some chairs as well. So I think what we'll do is, now that we've actually got a substantial roof on this place, um, go ahead and turn this into a hall as well. And then we'll have to do all of these roads as well. So that'll be kind of tricky. And um, if I want to do the roads, I'm going to have to get rid of these little bits of scaffold type staircase things. But uh, we could do that. And, uh, and then we'll have a new hall. And then we can move the guys out of the old hall because they just kind of stand there bored, especially Ron Swanson, although he likes to move on the spot. He does, yeah, he said to wait in the hall when idle. I wonder if that's the problem? No. Yeah, just leave him there, I guess. Um, but these two traders, they must be very bored out here in the cold, so we'll bring them into the new hall. And what are these guys doing? The carpenters seem to gravitate towards the wagon. There may be something about this wagon that I'm missing. Maybe some sort of workshop or something that they they just need to get from the wagon because they have been inside but they've come straight back out to it uh, I'll get rid of that soon I think actually um, I'll just I'll go and double check a few things and then possibly get rid of that wagon okay so as far as I can tell there's nothing that the carpenters need from this um, from the old wagon so I think it's time that we got rid of it let's go for it deconstruct and it's all gone <laughs> that's the end of the wagon and that that changes our we're no longer a settlement anymore we're now officially a village because we don't have a wagon um, so yeah I think I think it's safe to say that we are officially a village anyway considering the size of this place 
Um, so this is all pretty cool now. Oh, hello. It looks like our food situation has improved to the point where a new migrant wishes to join our settlement. This is the first time in, uh, well, in days and days and days. And what is he bringing with him? He's bringing some food, some flaxseed, cottonseed, wheat seed. So, not a lot. But he's a level 2 farmer and he's quite a good builder, actually. You might swap him over and make him a builder, uh, this Lewis chap. Yeah, let's do that. Let's accept this migrant into our lovely castle. And then speed on over to the old hall. And there you are, Lewis. Lewis, my friend, you can become a builder. Where's the building on? There it is. Because you're a level 3 builder. And I think you'll do well as being a builder. So good luck with that. Okay, we're coming to the end of day 38. And doesn't this look incredible? Our farmland, I'm really impressed with this new farmland. It's just looking stunning to me. Um, don't know what it looks like to you guys, but uh, I just, I, I don't know why. I just really love this. It's just everyone looks really active now. And we've got people walking between buildings, people doing all the building. There's stones masons crafting over here. No action at blacksmiths, but there's nothing really to smith at the moment. Um, this building is nearly done. And we've just got to wait for a few more bits of shingle to finish themselves off so that we can actually finish this roof. But that is looking like a pretty damn impressive building at the moment. And that roof is... Is that higher than the castle wall? It is, actually. By how many? By one, two... Two blocks. Two meters. So that's two meters higher than the castle walls. So that's, that's looking really cool. And that just overshadows the castle wall. So we might actually have to... When it comes to creating like a, a stronghold or fort or something like that we may have to increase the size of those walls as well so that'll be quite a quite a feat um over here clearing out a big space for uh, this wall to continue and yeah we're just basically clearing down the um clearing down the stone here so that we can actually lay foundations of our own but yeah we're coming along really nicely i'm really impressed with this so far Aha, another new migrant wishes to join our settlement. This time it's Gillian, the level 3 stones mason. What else can you do, Gillian? Uh, stones mason is all well and good, but we've got a fair amount of stones masons at the moment. You're bringing with yourself an iron hammer, and you're also quite a good herder, farmer, builder. Mm, we could do with um, could do with another builder, I suppose, because all of our structure seems to be going up pretty damn fast at the moment, but... We could do with another stones mason as well to create more of these, uh, more of our stone bricks. Hmm. We'll accept you. We'll find a job for you. Uh, for now, I think we'll make you a builder. Where are you, Julian? There you are. Let's make you a builder for the time being. Because we don't really have enough capacity for a stones mason at the moment. And then, um, if we need you to be a stones mason, then you can always flip over. Now, in terms of what I'm building at the moment, this is something that I'm quite proud of. This is going to be our first real two-story building. So we've got two entrances, one on either side here, and then it's just a massive open plan thing here with a few windows. And then there's two staircases up to the first floor, or second floor if you are not English. And it's, yeah, it's coming along really nicely at the moment. This is going to be pretty tall. It's going to be even taller than this building over here. This building is all but complete now. The only thing I need to do is remove this staircase, which uh, we should have some miners around somewhere to be doing this, but they don't seem to want to at the moment. I don't know where all of our miners have gone, actually. Um, but we'll get that sorted soon, and then when that is sorted, uh, we will have a completed building set there. So that'll be very cool. Okay, it's time to lay out our new hall. So... We want it to go from this corner of the room all the way through to this corner of the room. And then we also need a new road set, so this could take a while. Um, and we want to go from... Oh, can we actually... I don't think we can select that. So let's go and select it this way. Make sure that those touch. Yep. That's cool. And then, in fact, I'll get rid of that bit. Oops. I can't actually get rid of that. Let me just remove this road. Remembering how to build roads now. And then if I select from there into the corner, like so. And then let's bring this all the way back to here. And then we're going to bring it all the way through here. And now this, once this is joined up, we'll connect our new hole to our 
old set of roads as well because that old set of road goes all the way through there so then we can actually get rid of oh that hole's gone does that does that happen then if you s assign a new hole let me just try that yes if you assign so you can only have one hole that's cool okay today I learned the more you know okay so that's our hole now and we actually have seats and a table there for people so we have our trader and Ron Swanson is sat in there and Ron Swanson just can't actually do anything because he's just incapable of doing anything <laughs> so he will just sit there indefinitely um, but yeah there's our new hole so I'm quite uh, excited to get a, a trader or something coming in now That'll, be, that'll look really cool to see a trader coming all the way into our castle and then going out again. Although, taking his horse into there might not be the best of ideas, but uh, so long as he doesn't make a mess, that's fine with me. Good afternoon, we've got a new miner coming to join our settlement now. Level 5 miner, we've not seen a level 5 new migrant in a while. Um, bringing with him 3 food, an iron pickaxe, and coal, and a ladder. So, it's not the best, but he's certainly not the worst. He's a level 3 trader, level 3 fisherman. We've only got a couple of fishermen. Maybe we should start thinking about making a little fishing village and setting this guy off on there as well. But uh, for now, let's accept him. He can do some mining for us, uh, do some level 5 mining for us, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, we're coming to the end of day 40 now. It's dusk, so I think it's about time we brought this episode to a close. Uh, I've just gone ahead and reseeded a cotton, flax, and wheat farm. Now I know that we got rid of those, all of those before, uh, but a farm, well, the farmers are really not doing a lot at the moment. Uh, but now that we've, you know, sorted out our farmland and we've got some fairly efficient farms going on, uh, we've put these three back purely because we don't have any cotton or flax really at the moment at all. Uh, wheat we've got loads of, so I may, yes, let's just do not reseed. We'll get one load of wheat there and then we'll just leave it for then. Uh, for some reason I can't get rid of this dirt block here either. Oh god, it's become bright all of a sudden. Um, so I can go and dig that, I can change it, get rid of it. So it's no longer marked for digging and if I put it in again, this guy's a miner here, he just doesn't seem to want to actually dig that block out. In fact, he can't even walk on that block. Ooh, that's interesting. So there's a bugged block there, apparently. So let's, uh, let's just try that. No, he has to walk around it. Right. Okay, maybe that'll get resolved by a log out and log back in again. But we now have all of our farmland done. We've relocated all the farmland. This building here is done and it looks pretty damn cool. We've got the lights at the top there. It's a bit too bright now with all the, uh, with all the nighttime lighting here. But uh, it's really cool. This is, if we go downstairs, there's actually a staircase up to that top floor as well. Uh, go downstairs a little bit more, you can see there's beds, there's 10 beds in here on the first floor which is really cool with a couple of tool chests. I haven't put anything in the ground floor yet, may either depend, I'm not sure whether we should just fill these up with more beds because the beds don't seem to be completely full at the moment, although they do all get used. Um, we, we're, we're either going to fill this up with more beds or put some tables and chairs and stuff like that around there um, and We've done all these three rooms over here. This is our lovely new little um, hole here. So we've got our trader in there. We've got, who's this? A tailor. Don't know why the tailor's in there, but there's a carpenter, Bernard. Uh, there's Ron Swanson. Um, Gilder, a miner. And we've got Harry the Builder as well. So people just hanging out there in our new hole. We've also put a load of decoration around. So there's these bushes or hedges outside all of these buildings which look really cool, they bring a little bit of colour to the uh, to the little castle here and yeah we're doing really well so uh, next episode we will probably carry on maybe do another residential building here um, but we're getting to about that time where we need to start thinking about building a main stronghold or main keep so we need to start planning out some sort of extra large um, castle building which will be uh, rather grand and rather epic in size so not quite sure how it's going to be whether we'll do possibly do the walls around here or something like that and then um, 
have a new, a brand new set of walls with a new, with a big door at the front, something like that. I'm not sure at the moment, but we'll find out when that time comes. But until that time comes, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now.